I said we had something a little bit different lined up in New Jersey. I was not kidding. Right now we are at Red Bull Stadium in Newark and we are watching the Red Bulls play FC Dallas. I even brought my home team up here. And this is the new Sony FE 400mm 2.8 GM. Sony called and said, hey, we've got some of these. Would you like to come up to New Jersey and shoot a soccer game? And I said, are you kidding? So I have got this paired up with the A9, so we we're able to do 24 frames a second of continuous shooting. This thing is fast, and we're gonna get into some of the points. We had a little presentation today, and they showed me a little bit of how this lens works behind the scenes. It's got some really impressive things to it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here a little bit. The Sony FE 400mm f2.8 GM telephoto lens is now the 29th lens in Sony's lineup, but more importantly, it represents a culmination of the direction that Sony has been moving in, not only in terms of optics, but mechanics in the autofocus. Designing a lens this long that fully supports the Sony A9's 20 frames per second drive speed makes this one of the most advanced telephoto lenses produced from any company. The drive speed of the A9 demands a completely new approach to the design of this lens to support an entirely new technology in high-speed photography for sports and wildlife. Optically, the lens is constructed with 23 elements in 17 groups. There are three fluorite elements combined with an ED glass element to minimize both axial chromatic aberration and lateral chromatic aberration. The result is excellent definition and sharpness without fringing, beautiful color rendition, and gorgeous defocus areas in the picture when shooting it with wide apertures. It's also important to note that the design is extremely unique with all the spacing behind the front element. There's a huge gap there. This allows the lens to be much more balanced when shooting. It's not front heavy like many telephoto lenses tend to be. Combined with the A9, it is significantly lighter than other options. The total weight of the lens and body comes to about 7.86 pounds, whereas a Nikon D5 with the 400mm f2.8 EFLED VR is about 11.47 pounds, and a Canon 1DX Mark II with the EF400 f2.8 L USM comes to about 11.86 pounds. The Sony setup is much easier to handle when shooting several hours straight at a sporting event. The autofocus system features the newly developed XD linear motor, which delivers higher thrust and efficiency than conventional telephoto designs, which accelerates the speed and performance. It gives you extremely fast, precise, and quiet autofocus supporting the A9's 20 frames per second continuous shooting with AF-AE tracked. The software features a newly developed lens control algorithm that gives you a quiet, low vibration autofocus drive. So on the surface of the lens, you've got the conventional manual focus collar, and you also have a new function ring, which turns in really short increments in both directions. And this can be set up in the camera menus for preset focus and function settings. So preset focus allows for a specific subject distance to be stored and recalled for, let's say, rack focus and video application. Two functions can be selected in the camera menus. So the first mode lets you toggle APS-C in full frame modes. This is very useful if you're manual focusing and you want to zoom in a little bit for critical focus. A second mode called power focus allows you to rack the focus at a consistent pace. And this is really useful in video application. There are also four focus lock custom buttons for easy access. So no matter what angle you have the camera and the lens tilted to, you can get to these really easily. Also new is a mode three optical image stabilization set which uses an advanced algorithm that ensures easier framing for moving subjects found in dynamic or unpredictable sports action. Mode 1 is for normal shots and Mode 2 is designed for panning shots. Using this lens with the A9 was quite a surreal experience. There is absolutely no blackout in the A9's continuous shooting mode and the autofocus tracks really impressively. The camera is depth aware as well, so combine this with face detection or even IAF and there is no other system that I've used that matches this kind of accuracy versus ease of use. I set the A9 up for back button autofocus and found absolutely no shooting lag whatsoever. The biggest challenges that I had was not being familiar enough with soccer or the teams and the only thing that really slowed me down was my inability to predict where the action was going to be. I have never had an experience where the camera felt this
is completely removed from photographing, leaving really only me and what I was able to do with the subject. It becomes invisible. This combination of lens and body, I think, shows us the absolute best case for mirrorless technology. Now, this is a tool for a very specific type of photography, but I think it's really clear that this is where we are headed. And you know, many sports photographers are already invested in very expensive DSLR systems, so the adaption is going to be tricky for Sony as the newcomer in the sports industry. But I think it's only a matter of time before this rig becomes the dominant setup on the sidelines of pro sports events. The 400 millimeter GM not only makes the Sony system a legitimate sports setup, but its performance actually surpasses what is possible from a traditional DSLR system. Let's just say that I have a whole new appreciation for folks that shoot sports photography. It moves fast. I think we need to do a little test. Purple Dragons. Mm, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Steve Huff. Uh, the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he out here? <laughs> so. We have both developed a great new appreciation for sports photography. Yes, indeed. It's not as easy as it looks. Or hard as no. it looks. Is that right? It's, it's not, not as easy as, easy as, as it looks. looks. Yeah. It's very hard, very hard. It's pretty cool. But it's fun. What do you think of the lens? I think it's uh, a beautiful lens. It's a beast, but you know, I'm not a I'm not a telephoto kind of guy, but if I was, I'd be seriously considering this. It's fast. I think later on, I think street photography. Was yeah. Funny. Or what we was the other one? Macro street and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that would be. But street photography tonight, I think this would be amazing. <laughs> you know, we could go out and just, you know. We'd go up to the Bronx. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that'd be yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. Bring them both. We'd be the only guys to have probably ever tried it. True. Hey, you don't know unless you've tried. <laughs> this game is crazy. Dallas didn't have it tonight, but so the clock stops, so I guess they have three minutes to score three goals. Crazier things have happened. So apparently, there's fireworks. Did you hear? I heard about them. I think I see them too. formally with I am well when are you when are you posting this okay <laughs> I'm currently the editor-in-chief of digital photo pro and digital photo magazines so we're looking at the H&M tower across yep. the river yep. and we're using an app called Spireworks it was an art installation project so what you can do is you can jump in and you can pick a color for the tower and the direction if you wanted to go up or down you get about two minutes of playing with the tower they get uh, quick, huh? yeah and then you can uh, you can change it. It's a great party trick if you're sitting on the rooftop bars nearby to say, hey, what color do you like? And then you pick a color and then it changes colors. It sometimes lets you do things like sparkle. Okay. So that's us that's controlling. Us teal. Teal, we'll do purple. A purple going on. Oh. And now purple. There we go, purple. That's pretty yeah, sweet. Cool. So you're like, you are controlling New York. I am controlling part of New York City. Hey, Gordon Lang is is. Uh, Hello, Ted. Us, met new friends. Hi. Well, you don't have to leave. I'm, you know. uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look. Ha wait. How long is your lens? Ah, uh, no. This is just uh, the small big. lens. Yeah. I have you need one of these. Yeah. <laughs> I will ask for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, don't give him ideas. Please don't give him ideas. <laughs> he doesn't need one for his birthday. <laughs> So we're, look, cool, so we're though. looking over at the uh, at the High Line, the start of the High Line, the elevated kind of disused railway that's now an, an elevated park in Manhattan, which is fantastic. And we start here with the Standard Hotel, which is uh, which is above it and famous for its windows, which uh, well leave little to the imagination if you're that kind of person. Gotcha. 
but it's fantastic. I love I love doing kind of tighter views of uh, of buildings and you know familiar places. Just you know looking in, and Ted's been good enough to lend me a tripod, which I'm using you know, for these long exposures. You know, Gordon, I'm it's, here for you. It's uh, it's not really designed to hold a lens of this magnitude, but you know. In the words of Jerry Seinfeld, if when I'm not here for you, I'm there for you. Exactly, and it was either that or a tabletop model, which was yeah, like this, this no. high, and yeah, yeah it's not going to do it. Well, obviously the A9 has got a has got a fantastic AF system, and it, it's you know it's driving this lens very very well. But it is so supremely fast. What I was finding is that if I suddenly saw something in the distance, I could literally just swing the camera over to it, half press the shutter release, and it was on it straight away. Yeah, and you incredible. could just fire a burst of 10 pictures before you knew it, and they're all in focus, it's really creepy. Have you used the A9 before? Yes, many times. This is the first time I've used it. Really, it what do you think? Mind. Oh, I couldn't believe it. There's no blackout. Mm. You see the little thing, like kind of mm. the, the little bar, and it's like, I'm taking a lot of pictures really quickly. I had to turn on the shutter sound, because if you're shooting in complete yeah. silence, I know that's one of its its special tricks, but, but it freaks you out. Yeah, because you don't know what, you know, it's yeah. like, wait, what happened? So you turn on a little shutter noise, and it's almost a kilo lighter than the Canon and Nikon 400mm yeah. 2.8s. And a kilo in the US would be, what, two pounds? 15 stone. <laughs> Uh, 59 ounces. I've no idea. You you'll have to do the math. But almost a kilogram is quite See, a lot. See, this is why we're the pair, right? Yeah. <laughs>